Deformities of the chest wall Structural abnormalities of the chest occur when the cartilage that connects the ribs grows unevenly. The deformity may be mild at first and become more severe during puberty when a child's bones and cartilage are growing rapidly. Normal chest is symmetrical and elliptical in the cross section. The normal anteroposterior to transverse diameter ratio is 5 is to 7. When the anteroposterior to transverse diameter ratio is 1 is to 2, it is known as flat chest. Flat chest is seen in pulmonary tuberculosis and fibrothorax. When the ratio of the anteroposterior to transverse diameter is 1 is to 1, the chest resembles the shape of a barrel. Barrel chest is seen in physiological states like infancy and old age and in pathological states like emphysema. Harrison sulcus occurs due to the indrawing of ribs to form symmetrical horizontal grooves above the costal margin along the line of attachment of diaphragm due to hyperinflation of the lungs and repeated strong contraction of the diaphragm. It is associated with chronic respiratory disease in childhood like childhood asthma, rickets and blocked nasopharynx due to adenoid enlargement. Scorbutic rosary is the sharp angulation of the ribs with or without beating or rosary formation arising as a result of backward displacement or pushing in of the sternum. It is seen in vitamin C deficiency. Rickety rosary is a bead-like enlargement of costochondral junction seen in rickets. Nodularity at the costochondral junctions are present. Pigeon chest, also called pectus carinatum, is a forward protrusion of sternum and adjacent costal cartilage. It is seen in Marfan syndrome in childhood asthma and rickets. Pectus excavatum, also called funnel chest or cobbler's chest, is the exaggeration of the normal hollowness over the lower end of the sternum. It is a developmental defect. The apex beat shifts further to the left and the ventilatory capacity of the lung is restricted. It is seen in Marfan syndrome. Spinal deformities. Kyphosis is an abnormal anteroposterior curvature of the spine with forward concavity and dorsal prominence. The thoracic spine usually exhibits a slight smooth kyphosis, which increases in the elderly and especially in osteoporosis. Scoliosis is the lateral bending of the vertebral column that will lead to asymmetry of the chest and if severe, may significantly restrict lung movement. Kyphoscoliosis is an abnormal curve of the spine on two planes, the coronal plane and the sagittal plane. It reduces the ventilatory capacity of the lung and increases the work of breathing. Ankylosing spondylitis is an inflammatory arthritis affecting the spine and large joints. There is a diminished volume of the lung and the capacity of the chest, and thereby, the capacity of the lung to expand is restricted. Straight back syndrome is a thoracic deformity characterized by loss of the normal upper thoracic spinal kyphosis. This deformity leads to a reduced anteroposterior diameter of the chest, causing a compression or pancaking of the heart and great vessels. To get more such high yield medical content, don't forget to subscribe. The City Ahmed. The easiest and fastest way to take advanced clinical history.